Japan's science ministry is publishing radiation levels monitored nationwide on its website, with the information also available in English, Korean and Chinese. The ministry's website began displaying the data on Saturday with the information updated twice a day. Included in the posted data are levels of radiation detected at monitoring posts in each prefecture. The website also shows the science ministry's independent measurements of radiation near the disaster stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. As of 7 p.m. Sunday, radiation readings were slightly higher than normal in Mito City, Ibaraki Prefecture and in Utsunomiya City, Tochigi Prefecture. But the ministry says the levels pose no immediate health hazard. Trace amounts of radioactive iodine and cesium have been detected in areas around Tokyo. Neither substance occurs naturally. The information is available in English at www.mext.go.jp slash English slash. Fukushima office of the Tokyo Electric Power Company uh, said that gray smoke was seen coming from the southeast corner of the number three reactor building at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant at 3.55 p.m. The company says the amount of smoke has decreased since then. The smoke is coming from the part of the building where a pool for spent nuclear fuel is located. The company has evacuated its work, uh, workers from the area. The Nuclear Safety Agency says the radiation levels at the plant haven't changed much since the smoke first appeared. At around 3.55 p.m. today, from the southeastern corner of the top of the number three reactor building, gray smoke was observed. Gray smoke was observed according to staff members deployed there. As a result, workers deployed there, deployed there have been evacuated temporarily in order to find out the details of the situation. The amount of the smoke has decreased, but this has been reported to the fire department. Now, earlier, Tokyo Electric Power Company had resumed work to establish electricity inside the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant as part of efforts to regain cooling functions. This follows operations by the Tokyo Fire Department and Self-Defense Forces to douse the number three and number four reactors with water. They ended their water spraying operations to cool down the pools of spent fuel rods on Monday morning. External power was extended to the electricity distribution panels of the number two and number five reactors on Sunday, and power can now be supplied to reactors number one, two, five and six. In order to get the electricity back on at the number two reactor, the power company plans to check various measurement devices and lighting systems in the plant's central control room and check for electricity leakage in the battery charging room. The number three and number four reactors where high levels of radiation are forcing workers to exercise extreme caution are scheduled to be connected to the electricity distribution panels on Thursday. We will need to update you, however, on this now that uh, workers have been evacuated from the number three uh, plant area. Radiation levels are meanwhile dropping somewhat at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the spraying operations appear to be paying off to a certain degree with radiation levels showing a continuous decline since Sunday afternoon. The agency has been monitoring data at a point about 500 meters northwest of the number three reactor. It says radiation readings stood at 2,670 microsieverts per hour as of 6.30 a.m. on Sunday. The figures then rose briefly to 3,346 microsieverts at 2.50 p.m. on Sunday, but went down again to 2,319 microsieverts at 6.30 a.m. on Monday. The government's nuclear safety agency says 
it'll continue to monitor this situation carefully. Japan's health ministry is urging the people of a village in Fukushima prefecture not to drink the tap water after radioactive materials were detected in a sample on Sunday. The ministry says, however, that drinking it does not pose any immediate health risk. The health ministry says 965 becquerels of iodine-131 were detected in tap water tested at Itate village. That's 3.2 times more than the level of radiation permitted by the government. The legal standard is 300 becquerels per kilogram. The ministry says residents can use the water for washing and bathing and that drinking it has no immediate effect on human health. But as a precaution, it has urged about 3,700 3, residents of the village to avoid drinking the water. Higher than legal levels of radioactive materials have also been detected in vegetables and milk produced in some prefectures close to Fukushima. The health ministry said these two pose no immediate threat to human health.